If your entire argument online is a research paper, then you actually don't understand science. And before you have a meltdown in the comment section, just remember I'm not anti-science or anti-research, I'm just anti-using research as a weapon and making it your entire personality trait. Because lately, I'm not seeing evidence-based practice on social media. What I'm seeing is evidence piracy. And the part that they're missing is that research doesn't give you truth. It gives you averages. And averages work great in simple systems, but they work awful in complex systems like pain, movement, rehab, humans. Because when you aggregate massive data sets, you smooth out the variability. You completely erase the context. You erase the history. You erase the psychology. You erase the clinician in front of the person. And I hate to tell you, but like those variables actually matter. The most ironic part about all of this is that research confirms this. That's right, even the most respected journals acknowledge that context, intervention, and the way we implement this information actually matters for outcomes. But that part doesn't make great rage bait, and that's why it doesn't do well online. In the caption, you can find some resources that explicitly say that guideline-driven care, when it ignores complexity, fails. Just remember, humans are non-linear systems, okay? So when you take these large swaths of data and you use it to inform policy and guidelines and you completely take away the agency from good clinicians, that's what you fucking get. So if you're ever sitting there scratching your head wondering why things like carnivore diet, science-based lifting, and functional patterns get popular, well, there you go. But that part doesn't really make good rage bait. Therefore, it doesn't make good content. And what makes good content is cherry-picking research articles and pretending it's law. Why are they so confident? Because it's oversimplified. And then most people can be charged up by that because they can wrap their simple little minds around it. And I'll prove it to you, because if research made great clinicians, then you wouldn't need college internships, fellowships, mentors, or clinical judgment. So if your entire practice revolves around PubMed screenshots, you're not evidence-based. You're outsourcing your thinking. TLDR, real science isn't fragile, and it shouldn't be. It can handle nuance. It needs disagreement. But what drives it should be and always will be fucking experience. And if somebody tells you otherwise, they're not defending science. That's not their intention. They're defending their algorithm.